is up guys how are you Alex here from Apples once again with another video for you guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't subscribed I'll wait here until you do 12 seconds later all right since now that you subscribe and you're liking this video we can go continue and go forward with this um, and I want to show you guys what's going on today. So today's going to be a pretty busy day. We had a lot going on yesterday. We have a lot going on today, which we always have a lot going on here. Nothing new. But we're finishing up with the 62 behind us. It's done. We just did a final wipe down on it. We do have to lift it up and still do a wipe down the undercarriage, but we'll get to that later. But in the meantime, I want to kind of show you guys what we have going on uh, throughout the day. And then we'll kind of venture off into the 62. So thank you guys for watching. Now we got uh, some... Custom battery hold downs, double layered. Uh, gonna do them out of some either 3 8 or half inch thick plate. Uh, these are being built for Mr. Impala. So that's what we got going on right now, but just kind of showing you guys the process. I got most of it already built, as you can see in here. I mean, these take time, and this is all the steps I had to do to, to get this drawing correct and get the measurements correct as well. So you can see. This black piece that's right here, that's actually a secondary layer. Um, and that's going to be that piece and this piece. It's actually a secondary layer. And that's going to be an add on on top of it. That way you could chrome, detail, paint, whatever you want to do. So, we got the first two pieces all cut out for you guys right here. Still got to do some cleanup. But we got the machine cutting right now. You in love today? I'm heartbroken. What are you heartbroken from? I, I, I said I missed you this morning. <laughs> Sometimes you got some really hard work to do, and sometimes it takes you back to preschool and templates to cut out. It's work. Eight weeks later. So guys, so everything you guys have been waiting for, here's the 62. Um, this does have four gravity fed pumps in it. Um, so a lot of people assume that the gravity fed is very, very slow. And don't get me wrong, they are slower, but the front will still come up, you know, pretty decent. Uh, you know, most decent enough for most people. So uh, we got Eric on the switch right now. He's going to go in and just tap it up for us and show you guys. Uh, 12 inch cylinders with uh, pre cut. So it lays pretty decent with the wishbone back there. So let me, let me, right there's good. Let me go under there real quick. So you guys can see, uh, let me go on the other side. There's a little more light over here. You guys can see, you got chrome wishbone, dry line with the slip yoke, uh, chrome rear. Go ahead and lock the front up for me, Eric. And we got full chrome front suspension as well. So we did a full chrome undercarriage on this guy as well with everything. Um, all right, I know a lot of you guys are gonna comment on the wheels. These are just roller wheels, all right? So don't make a big stink about it. Don't cry in the comments about it. So who cares? This guy's building it how he wants to. So before you guys cut, you know, cry on there. They're running, running their mouth about other, other people's builds. I'm gonna start blocking and deleting everybody. That, that does that. Just because we're tired of it, we don't like negativity. We are not a negative company. So anyone that does do that, I will block you guys. Go to Eric and kind of slap it up in the front. So 
So this has a one inch extension on it and it's a nice clean extension. I think it's just perfect for this car. Not overly done and crazy. And we are running uh, the Impala switch panel. Right now it's not mounted because it's gonna be going to California upholstery um, in, in the future. So instead of running and drilling extra holes, unnecessary holes for right now, we're gonna leave it loose uh, just till he gets to California. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the setup now. This car is actually gonna get fully painted and done, upholstery done. So on here guys, we're running four gravity fed pumps. And the gravity fed, for the guys that don't know what the gravity fed is, the gravity fed is exposed gear. So this is actually the gear, which normally in a regular pump, this would be fully submerged under oil. With the gravity fed, the only port that's feeding it is gonna be this port right here with the oil sitting above it, right here in this tank, or the reservoir. So with this one, we're doing four of them, and we're doing, we have the four motor end caps, or uh, sorry, four motor bands on here with four Stillman caps. Uh, we also got four zigzag slowdowns and four of our new dumps with uh, completely hidden wiring. Uh, this car setup is completely wired up and done. The only vis uh, visible wires that you got to see in here, just because of the way the stand's designed, is going to be the, the motor cables, which are right there. Which those will be actually clamped up once it's all completely done and delivered. We also went ahead and did... Uh, six batteries but we did this a little on the unconventional way uh, we were just so tired of this just the standard you know square boring angle rack that anyone could weld up with their eyes closed so we went a little more with a little more of a, a fancier design as you can see each one has a uh, its own section for uh, its battery and it has the Paul logo on all of them or on staggered on two and two then we went ahead and um did the fancier ends on here that way it's not like an ugly copper end it's a little more on the fancier end on this this is standard cable but we just did um, red heat shrink over it that way it kind of just blends it all in ties it all in it's just a little extra step we went just to make this match and uh, it'll look good all for the beauty shots All right, I said beauty shots. Why did Vic walk out? Did you hear your name? I said it's time for the beauty shots, and you walked out. Walked out, but it's so quiet. I don't know if you were working or just laying around, like doing anything. Ah, uh, see, look at it. He, he waited all. He waited. That was seriously. He was building up since the last video to come back at me with that. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. All right, guys. Vic's gonna go back and sit in his little cubicle over there. I love that damn guy, he's fucking funny. We also got this set up on the full RGB remote setup. So right now we just got on a white, and it's daylight right now, so you, you can't really see too much, but you can see right there as you go in the, we'll call this the disco mode. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of like the crazy multicolor. I'm more of a fan of like the matching colors, like this. It's like red, just red on red. It also has a full function, you know, uh, different colors, pinks and this is blues and lighter blue, rainbows. Hey Vic, is this your favorite one? Is this your favorite color? I'm working here, man. I'm going on <laughs> uh, you know it's his favorite color, it's rainbows.
this one's pretty cool too. I think this is the pulsating one where it kind of pulsates in and out. Uh, I don't like how it changes, but I know there's a pulsating just all red. Uh, it's like the Knight Rider style. Let's just try to find a, just a, a white. Yeah, there's a white right there. As you can tell, the carriage is still a little dirty, but we still got to go in there and clean it all up. So guys, there's the 62. She's all done. Well, for the most part, we just got to clean up and wipe up, just finals. But I want to get this video to you guys before this car disappears out of here. Um, I know this is this car is kind of been in the background of some of the other shots and videos, so a lot of guys are asking about it. So that's why I want to toss it up there, kind of give you a little quick overview of it. Um, we did eights in the front and in the rears. We did 12s, no shocks in the rear. Um, two ton pre cut, yeah, two ton pre cuts in the front and in the rear. Shit, I don't remember. Two ton as well. Actually, no, those are one tons in the rear. So there's gonna be one tons in the rear and. Uh, Full chrome undercarriage, it does have all new bushings, uh, ball joints, uh, brake lines. We match a lot of his back brake lines to the, the standard red that he has in the car. Uh, so bushings, ball joints, brake lines, all the rear ends been fully rebuilt, uh, all fresh, everything's ready to roll. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, another video from us here at Hoppos. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow, share, all that good stuff. Hoppos Thank you guys for watching.